across the nation, 130 million people accept with American good humor, wartime restrictions and rationings. Sports goods are affected. Rubber is a war need. Girdles, supply lines may spread waistlines. Shower curtains and caps. No more Japanese silk, so keep them rolling. That is, roll off the silk and roll up domestic substitutes. Automobile rationing is at hand, but driving America takes it in stride. Halted assembly lines will be converted to arms production. Idle auto showrooms bring no outburst of moaning from victory-bound America. Tire rationing is already in effect, and good-natured acceptance of rationing board rulings is universal. As a salesman, since you're not rendering service essential to the health of the community, we must deny your application. So Mr. Average Motorist finds retread plans. Rebuilt tires are good enough if they'll save rubber for Army and Navy use. Why, over here, our sacrifices are small. In Japan, for instance, there are no private cars. Even buses for over four years have had only charcoal gas for fuel. Half the world has food rationing, coupons for butter, milk, for all the things that we take for granted on the meal table. And over there, standing in line for food that doesn't exist anyhow, is an accepted part of every single day. Over here, well, putting the old family bus away for a while is easy compared to what most of our allies have gamely faced. We'll get a horse. After all, Dobbin got Grandpa a long way. And these nags you can bet on safely. America on wheels? Well, the college youngsters have started the movement, patriotically abandoning their beloved jalopies. There's even the formal touch. Although it's not the way Grandma learned a bicycle built for two. The serious side. President Roosevelt appoints a supreme war production boss, hard-hitting Donald Nelson. The arms chief says, The board believes that if the public knows why it must forego certain comforts, why it must give rather than get, why it must turn the soft fat into hard muscle, it will get the cooperation that is so vital to success. Let's all get together and really build an arsenal of democracy. Yes, and the world's finest workmen and the world's greatest plants will build and build and build. America's production effort will wipe out the head start of the grabbing Axis nations. Factory upon factory will help write finish for Japan's scheming little Mikado. For Italy's bungling Benito. For snowbound Adolf Hitler. T for tanks, A for arms. T for planes, S for ships, it's taps for the axis as America builds. 